Mic check. One, two, one, two. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all ready? Yeah. Press play. see you put your rock star skills on full display with the game I like to call Air Guitar Challenge. You can play this game by yourself or if there's anyone with you, you can play together. All right, we're ready for some air guitar fun. Oh, and you never know what kind of music your air guitar might play. It could be rock, heavy metal, R&B, or even country. But be ready to give it your all no matter what. Are you ready? Then let's get started. Everyone can play at the same time. 
Here's our first riff. You need this rocker wig for this one. Ready? Go! Next, you'll need some cool shades for some cool R&B. Hey, how about a little country? Now, I want to see you play the blues. All right, you'll need a pedal for this one. You can use mine. Heavy metal. Stop that pedal, go! Amazing job. And now, it's time for the face off for the ages. I'll go first, and then it's up to you. This time, your guitar is going to sing and wail just a bit longer. So, you'll need to shred like you've never shredded before. All right, here I go. Now it's your turn. Ready? Go! Incredible. Why don't we do one more epic riff together? Everyone, air guitars ready? And go! Sensational! That was like nothing I've ever experienced before. It's Fia, and today we are talking about Reckless Love by Corey Asbury. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. You have been so, so kind to me. This song is all about God's love and how it's reckless. Do you know what reckless means? Reckless means doing something without thought or care of consequences. You're probably thinking that this doesn't sound like a good thing, and in some cases, you're right. Being reckless can be bad in a lot of ways, but in this case, it's amazing. God's love for all of us is so strong and powerful that he doesn't care who sees it. He wants the whole world to know about his love for you, and that is amazing. This song isn't saying that God himself is reckless. It's saying that how he loves you is. He lays everything on the line without thought or consideration for himself. He loves us endlessly, even if we don't feel the same way. It's Bible story time again! Yeah! How? Hey guys! Hey Kellen! Hi Kellen, what's up with you today? Oh, you know, just hanging out with the so and so show players. Are, Are they, they telling, telling the story, story today? today? You guessed it. <laughs> today they'll be reenacting the story of Zacchaeus. I, I feel like we've done that before. We have. Here's a refresher about Zacchaeus he lived in Jericho and was the chief tax collector, which meant he was really rich. And the reason Zacchaeus had so much money, he was a cheat. When he took money from people for taxes, he would also take a little or a lot for himself. Yeah, he was a pretty greedy, mean little guy. But the day Zacchaeus met Jesus, everything changed. Let's jump on over to our favorite actors and see if you can spot how Zacchaeus changes. When Jesus came to Jericho, a large crowd gathered to see him. Zacchaeus had to climb a tree to get a good look. Zacchaeus, come out from that tree at once. I must stay at your house today. 
Lord, you are most welcome to come and stay at my house. <laughs> Please, come this way. Jesus has gone to be the guest of a sinner. Lord, look, here and now, I promise to give half of what I own to those who are poor. And, and if I have ever wronged anyone over anything, I, I, I promise that I will give four times what I have taken. Cool, right? Did you see how Zacchaeus changed? Yep. He learned how to climb trees. He's more physically fit than ever before. Um, maybe, but that's not exactly the change I was looking for. Maybe the players could perform the story one more time? Really? Uh, sure. But let's try it, let's try it a little differently. Bring out the Wheel of Style. Okay. Oh, nice. There okay. we go. Oh. 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 Western. Okay. Once again, here's the story of Zacchaeus, Old West style. Old Zach was a ruthless varmint, but when Jesus moseyed into town, Zach hiked up a tree just to get a look-see. Zacchaeus, why don't you come down from there? What you want, Jesus? I reckon I'm gonna stay at your house today. Well, yeah! Oh, that is just the best news. The best news I ever heard west of the Mississippi. <laughs> and I'm talking really, really far west. Ah, ah. Well, let's skedaddle. What in tarnation? Jesus is going to make friendly with that there ornery cuss, Zach. Oh, well, you just hold on to your horses, young lady. Now, don't you go with thinking that I ain't no changed man, all right? Because if I've ever taken or stolen anything from anybody, and I mean anything or anybody, well, I'm going to pay it back. Pay it back and more. Is that so? Yep. Money bag. Oh, well, I'll be a chicken in a hay barrel. <laughs> yeah! Oh, let's get this party started. Skin, 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 skin. Here we go. Now, skin, skin, to the left. Yeah, uh, I'm still not getting it. So let's spin the wheel. <laughs> oh, soap opera. Let's see a soap opera. Zacchaeus. I see you. Me. Come down. I want to stay at your house today. Wait a minute. You can't stay at his house. That man is a sinner. I have been selfish and cruel, but no longer. Jesus, your forgiveness has changed me. I will give half of my belongings to the poor and I will pay them back quadruple what I have stolen. That's good. Because Zacchaeus, you're also my brother. Man, talk about drama. I think I know exactly where the change happened and I wanna see it. As a Broadway musical. I'll pay back everything I stole from people. Everything and more. If I stole from them, I'll pay them back four times more. 
It's a good day cause I'm feeling new. Jesus saw me and saw something true. He didn't cringe when he looked my way. Instead, he just happily said my name. Zacchaeus. And I'm feeling changed. And you're feeling changed. It's never too late to change. Wow, guys. That was beautiful. Never felt so moved. Yeah, it was something. So good. So good. Once Zacchaeus felt Jesus' love and forgiveness, he had the confidence to change his ways. He stopped cheating the people and even gave back what he'd taken from them. Yep. And the great news is, if Zacchaeus can change, that means we can change too. If we're doing things we shouldn't, or if we've gotten into some pretty bad habits, with God's help, we can do better. It's never too late to change. That is encouraging. Hey, thanks, Kellen. You betcha. See you guys next time. Bye, Kellen. I love that story because for me, sometimes it's hard to change. Mm. But that story reminds me that I can. Oh, we can all change. <laughs> Reveal, Reveal the question. question. How have you seen someone change? Could be you've seen someone change their hairstyle or the way they dress. Or maybe you've seen someone change the way they talk or act. Yeah, I've certainly changed a lot over the years. I used to be bad at beatboxing, but now, watch this. One, two, three, four. Now you're not bad at it? I know, right? Some changes are more evident than others. Hey, think about it. How have you seen someone change? I'm Brandon. I'm John, and this was the So-and-So Show. <laughs> All right. Today, we took another look at Zacchaeus' story. We saw how Jesus' love changed Zacchaeus. It made him want to turn his life around. He turned what, away from what he had done wrong, and he worked to make things right with the people that he had hurt. And you know what? All of us can change. When we've done something we're not proud of, or we've realized that we've messed up or hurt someone's feelings, God can give us the confidence to change our ways. He can give us the confidence to say we're sorry. With his help, we can make things right. I can have confidence because I can change. Well, this almost takes us to the end of our morning. We're just going to look at our Bible verse, and then we're going to jump into one final worship song. See you, BCC kids. Give a little
you 